Now, it's time for our Good to Know, where we talk about community events, heartwarming news, and general Good to Know topics and information. Here are JDS Creative Academy intern, Aaron Porras, and SOI crew member, Tyler Perrone, to get us started. Thank you, Celeste. If you want to help out in the community, there are some great volunteer opportunities all over Riverside County. Court Appointed Special Advocates, otherwise known as CASA, is looking for volunteers to help foster children through a confusing and often scary time. With just 10 to 15 hours a month, you can make a real difference in their lives. Service dogs are trained and raised at an early age to hone their skills. But did you know that volunteers can train these little pups? <laughs> That's right. Canine Support Teams is looking for volunteers to train and raise them to become future service dogs. It will require a lot of commitment, labor, resources, and love. Salas Hospice is looking for individuals who love sewing and want to share their talent by sewing pillows to help families heal after losing a loved one. Salas Hospice will provide materials and the background of the person they lost so that a one-of-a-kind pillow can be made. Your creation may help bring a family joy and ease the pain of the loss. COVID-19 has caused many hardships for people around Riverside County. If you or a family member needs help paying utility bills, contact Community Action Partnership, who is there to help. Labor Day is Monday, September 5th. This annual holiday celebrates the achievements of American workers and was established in 1882 when labor activists pushed for a federal holiday to recognize worker contributions. Nowadays, there are many ways to celebrate in the community. Kick off Labor Day weekend with the Inland Empire Pride Festival in downtown Riverside on Sunday, September 4th from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Then on Monday, head over to the Norco Labor Day Parade starting on 6th Street at 10 a.m. Maybe you need a getaway. Plan a camping trip for Labor Day weekend at Temecula's Vale Lake where you can cool in the pool, hike an all new trail, and barbecue all day. Women are back to business at this year's Temecula Valley Chamber of Commerce Women in Business Expo and Conference held at Pachanga Resort Casino on September 8th. This yearly event brings the region together in support of women in business. Our executive producer, Diane Strand, is co-emceeing and introducing a great lineup of speakers. Join in. Tickets are still available. The railroad swap meet chugs along in the Southern California Railway Museum in Paris on September 10th. Not only will you be able to browse what people have to offer, but you can also learn about the history of railroads in Southern California. If your kids love trains, this event is a perfect fit. El Grito gatherings celebrate Mexico's battle for independence. You can join in at the Moreno Valley Civic Center on September 15th. One of Temecula's most popular events, the Temecula Art and Street Painting Festival arrives once again in Old Town September 16th and 17th. The event features many different vendors and activities such as chalk murals, cartoon palooza, Temecula's own mini con, and an art and cosplay contest. Be sure to check it out. If you enjoy live mariachi, then head down to Marno O'Brien Park in Wildemar for a mariachi night on September 18th. No reservation is needed. Just head into the park and look for people having a good time. Why are y'all in about? Be aware of upcoming freeway closures and slowdowns on the I-15 between Winchester Road and the I-15 to 215 split. In September, Road crews will be moving Edison lines and completely closing the I-15 freeway as they prepare for Phase 2 of the French Valley project. Phase 1 was completed a few years ago and provides relief to traffic heading southbound. Phase 2 involves the construction of separate traffic feeder lanes running northbound from Winchester Road, which keeps cars from having to merge until after the split. The City of Temecula's website has more information on this major construction project. People enjoy giving and receiving random acts of kindness. But did you know an organization has made an official day out of it? SOI correspondent Karina Corona chatted with the founder of the Random Acts of Kindness Alliance and found out how they're making a difference in the community. 
Random Acts of Kindness Alliance was founded by Temecula Realtor Sean Swanson as a way to give back to the community. I think a random act of kindness is anything nice you can do for somebody else without them expecting it or knowing you're going to even do it. Why was Random Act of Kindness Alliance created? Back in 2013, um, I was looking for something, a Christmas party to host for the real estate company that I own. And I didn't want to do just a traditional party. I wanted to do something a little more impactful to help give back to our community. So we, I came up with the idea of doing a day of service or what I call a give back day. And we had about 80 people show up. So on the day, we always um, hold it on the second Saturday in December. People, we all come together. I break everybody up into groups and each group has a team leader and each group goes and does a service project out in the community. They'll have a list of items that they need to buy for either individuals, organizations, or um, items that nonprofits need. How do you choose who you help and is it a surprise to them? Sometimes the people kind of come into my path and I don't, you know, they, we, they find me more than I find them, um, but everything is typically a surprise. Um, last year we did um, buy Christmas presents for all the kids that are a part of um, the special needs program with Oak Grove. We typically always like to do things to help children. We also like to do things to help the veterans. I have a real love for animals, so we always have an animal component to it. So this year for our 10th one on December 10th, 2022, we haven't narrowed down exactly who we're gonna um, pick, but it will always be some kind of charity that has to do with children, because we do believe in mentoring children and taking care of kids. Random Acts of Kindness Day has inspired Sean to help others all year long. Anytime there is a group in need or an individual in need, they may have heard about us and they'll reach out to us for individual needs um, or we may see something that's out in the community. How can people become a part of Random Acts of Kindness Day? All you have to do is go to Eventbrite. Our event is public. All you have to do is sign up and um, you come and join us on that day. Thank you, Sean, for your time and sharing your story about Random Act of Kindness Alliance. You're so welcome. I'm so glad I got to introduce it to you. And maybe this year you can join us. Thank you, Karina. If you want to get involved with this year's Random Acts of Kindness Day, we have their Eventbrite link on our website. Michelle's Place Cancer Resource Center gives so much to the cancer community, providing hope, free resources, and much more. Inspired by their work, JDS Creative Academy wanted to give back through the gift of creativity. The founders of JDS Creative Academy believe that the arts make a difference, which is why Art in a Box was created, to provide Michelle's Place the essential materials and supplies needed for their free creative workshops. These workshops offer a therapeutic outlet for cancer patients to express themselves artistically. Regina was a client before she was a volunteer, before she was a staff, now she's our volunteer coordinator. So. My first class doing here was the art class, the express art class. So. Awesome. I love it. I know. <laughs> Rather than just donate art supplies, the creative minds at JDS came together to create a unique artistic experience for workshop students. With eight weeks of curriculum, students have the opportunity to work on a variety of projects, all of which were designed to induce a feeling of peace and calm. Some activities included in the art box are scrapbooking, flower pressing, tile, mosaics, origami, paint by number, and more. The kit includes manuals for instructors to use, as well as student manuals to help in the creation of the projects. In addition to the physical manuals, instructors and students can go online for visual demonstrations. That is, that's a beautiful gift because yeah. we wanted to do it, it just, obviously, it's a lot. We didn't know where to begin, so now you've taken care of that for us, so thank you so okay. much. It's a great so gift. So cool. Mm -hmm. Lessons can be reused as many times as needed, making Art in a Box a gift that keeps on giving. The launch of Art in the Box is just the beginning of JDS Creative Academy's Arts Across California campaign. The goal is to provide their unique hands-on curriculum to schools, after-school programs, and other nonprofits throughout the state. Be sure to follow the hashtag JDS family for updates about this inspiring campaign. Participants in the JDS Creative Academy's 
paid internship program were also busy these past few months. They enjoyed the opportunity to work at Storm Stadium, run tech backstage for our musical theater program, and assist with summer camps. We're so proud of the work they do. Do you want to join us here? Be a part of the hashtag JDS family. There are many opportunities to do just that. Check out our upcoming visual, performing, and digital arts classes. and special effects makeup? Ooh. How about design, build, and terrorize for our annual Haunted Studio and Fundraiser? Enroll now to our Haunted Studio class, starting September 28th. If you're an actor searching for an agent or manager, you can learn all the ins and outs of obtaining representation at the JDS Actor Studio Industry Showcase. Taught by the authors of best-selling book, Show Business, How to Break into the Industry as an Actor. Take a look. Are you ready to break into the entertainment industry? If so, enroll now in JDS Actor Studio's acclaimed Industry Showcase. I'm Master Acting Coach Scott Strand, and with my partner, Executive Producer Diane Strand, we will teach you the ins and outs of the entertainment industry based on our best-selling book, Show Business, Breaking into the Industry as an Actor. JDS Actors Studio Industry Showcase begins September 7th. Enroll now!